When you're establishing your brand, you need to factor in who your audience is. Yeah, it's it's hugely important as far as when you're trying to establish how you want to make that audience feel. But really, it's, you know, like, for example, if you take Kellogg's, they have several different cereals. I'm going to take two in particular, like Special K and Frosted Flakes. If you had them both poured into a bowl, it would look almost identical. You could probably tell the difference between two of them. But really, the whole idea is when you go into the shop, when you're shopping for them, those two different brands, the way those boxes look, the way they appeal to you, they mean different things to different people. Completely different audiences because one obviously is like tailored to younger kids and one is tailored to somebody that is looking for, a, a, I guess, a healthier alternative that is still it's still cereal, not necessarily the healthiest. But right. So, you know, I guess like, like what you had said, one is – you know, what, what do you think of when you think of Frosted Flakes? They're great. <laughs> <laughs> the tiger, I mean. Yeah, it's, and it's, it's the whole focus is taste, you know, because they it's a sugary cornflake. Yeah. Whereas the if you look at Special K, it's, you know, it's special, I guess, because it's supposed to be healthier. But on the box, when you're looking at it, it has all of the vitamins. It has, you know, it basically is telling you the benefits health benefits to you there's no health benefits written on it's a big goofy looking tiger on the front of uh, the frosted flakes but it's two completely different types of branding and like you said what it makes you feel if i'm walking down the cereal aisle at the store if i'm one if i'm craving that sugary fun option i will pick frosted flakes and that messaging on the box everything goes into that branding it's going to be directed at me versus if i'm trying to watch my calorie intake or something, but I still want cereal, I would be more likely to eat the Special K original. So I think that that's really important to remember, branding how your audience will feel when they see you, they see your message, they see your product, because it really does matter who your audience is. Uh, Completely. And I think we talked about this a little bit earlier. Like, you you know, when you had your big following, it was all based off of a lot of cheerleading. And now that you've kind of shifted, that's not your core of what you do now. So it's like, how do I speak to these people differently? You know, what it is that I need to do differently to make sure I'm attracting the right audience that, that appeals to your your new your new brand, yeah. essentially. Yeah, absolutely. That's something that, too, guys, that creators will face. Like, if you – like, that was a big life change. So the audience that you were once attracting, like, if you were known for this one thing and that's what they came to you for, once that's taken out of your life, it's, it's not offensive to you, but they're not resonating with you anymore. You're not feeding them what they once craved from you. So I think that that's a really important message. Like, it's all about who your audience is, and the biggest stars actually make themselves pivotal all throughout their careers, which is why they stay so famous. So that's something really important, too, to point out. 